That's why we're backing Keir and Labour to win this election. There is only one choice. Yes, Elton John is backing Labour. There have been more endorsements for Labour over the weekend and we're going to look at them now as we go into the last few days of this election campaign where we expect to see the Tories trashed and Labour come through. So let's talk about uh, this and this is why uh, Elton John wants to vote Labour. Now, Labour's manifesto sets out sensible and practical proposals that promise to give every young person a creative education and help young and emerging musicians achieve the routes to success that have been cruelly and pointlessly snatched away from them. That's why we're backing Keir and Labour to win this election. There is only one choice. Let's help artists cut through the red tape that prevents them from thriving and contributing to this country's future success. Let's show the world what a creative, prosperous and forward-thinking nation Britain is. Let's get behind Labour to win on July the 4th. And now if you're a big fan of the Game of Thrones, yes, Jon Snow. <laughs> Not of course Jon Snow, but Kit Harington, who is the actor who plays Jon Snow, has also uh, endorsed uh, Labour at the next election. Labour is coming. I'm Kit Harrington and I'm voting Labour on Thursday the 4th of July. One issue that is really important to me in this election is the climate crisis. We can see the real world effects of it all around us and we're at a turning point. The climate is teetering and we really can't afford 14 more years of the Tories in action. Labour have a practical plan which I believe can deliver for all of us. Harrington then goes on to talk about the great British energy company that Labour want to uh, set up when they're in government. You can watch the rest on uh, uh, Labour's Instagram, Twitter page. You can see all of these uh, videos that we've just played here um, in full if you want to and if you're interested. But also, if you haven't seen it already, Glastonbury was uh, at the weekend and uh, there's been another endorsement at uh, Glastonbury as well. And here is Fatboy Slim. I don't know if you know this guy. He's a DJ, very famous. I'm sure you've heard of him before. And he has this behind him. Change will happen only if you vote for it. What we also had over the weekend were some endorsements from the Sunday newspapers as well. And surprisingly, for me anyway, I don't know about for you, but surprisingly, uh, the Sunday Times have endorsed uh, the Labour Party. They've been endorsing Conservative Party uh, previously for a long time, but now they've decided... Uh, it's time for a change. I don't think they give Labour a glowing report anyway, but they said now is time is uh, time for change and uh, Labour are the best party uh, to give them change. So it'll be interesting as well to see if the other Murdoch newspapers will also come out for Labour. Obviously the dailies, the Times daily newspaper and the Sun daily newspaper haven't said who they're endorsing yet, but um, usually the Sun go with whoever is going to win. Uh, so was the headline the sun what won it one time and um, it'll be interesting to see if the sun actually back labor that would be really interesting because um uh i don't know i just think it would be interesting i'm i'm not sure if they would maybe they would give it a half-hearted backing like Ugh, i think uh, labor aren't great but you should vote for them so this is just from the sunday times editorial and you can see it says the tories have forfeited the right to govern over to labor and finally, this is from the Financial Times today. The Financial Times have said Britain needs a fresh start and the Labour Party are the party who can give us that fresh start. And this also comes after The Economist, a very popular uh, world politics and economics magazine that's sold around the world based in Britain, has also backed to Keir Starmer to be the Prime Minister as well. They think a Labour are now ready uh, to govern. So there's been a lot of endorsements for Labour. Of course, uh, the Tory graph, I mean, the Telegraph, I call it the Tory graph, I don't know about you, but the Telegraph uh, have come out for uh, the Conservatives, don't let ta a Labour tax your left leg or that little strand of hair on your head, the Labour will tax that. And uh, also, obviously, uh, Daily Mail, I don't really touch that. Uh, I don't know who they're endorsing, but I guess Conservatives as well. And also Daily Express, so I'm interested to see who they might come out for, because I don't know who they've come out for, but be interesting to see if they come out for Reform UK, for example, because I know the Express have been more supportive of uh, Nigel Farage's party, whereas the Mail and the Telegraph have been slightly against him. 
they're more uh, Tory. Let's let's say. I mean, the te the, the the Daily Mail had a great uh, section actually the other day. I know I said I didn't touch it, but I saw it on Twitter where they were saying, "Oh, he here is how you can save some Tory uh, members of Parliament, so you can get some Tories back in." But actually, it helped a lot with the tactical voting as well. So, oh, Labour and Tory are very close in this seat. So maybe. Uh, we stop voting for Lib Dem or Green and just vote for Labour. So it's a really interesting um, thing. And I think if you're interested in it and you want to know whether your seat is tight like this, uh, stoptories.vote, I think is a good website to go to. And you can tactical vote, see who is the best second place party for you to defeat a uh, Conservative Party uh, MP in your area. So anyway, let me know what you think. What do you think about these endorsements? Do you really care? Does it surprise you? Are you ready to endorse Labour? Or do you have some, um, I don't know, some things that uh, maybe stop you from really giving them the endorsement? Or are you just going to vote for them because you're fed up with the Tories? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you press that subscribe button. And uh, we'll, back, we'll be back with another video tomorrow.